Aloha, Patrick Franti here, principal of the Villa Group at Cobo Banker with what I think a lot of you have been waiting for is the uh, year-end stats. We finally got the numbers back last week. Um, 2021 was an absolutely crazy year um, in many aspects. But today here we're gonna focus about the real estate market and especially resort markets in Maui. Um, you know, what happened last year and what do we see trending for this year and what do we expect down the pipeline? Um, so I'll run through kind of the overall numbers first and then I'll dive into some more specific details. Um, so Maui as a whole, island wide, median for homes was up 25% right at about a million bucks um, for the year. Inventory for Maui homes has decreased 40% since the beginning of last year. Dramatic drop, and I'm sure a lot of you felt that if you've been on the buy side or trying to buy in our market right now, it's, it's tough. And it is that way in a lot of markets, so it's not just Maui. Um, sales volume of homes sold were up 30% for the year. Um, so, Basically, 2020, you know, that's kind of when COVID hit in March. Um, we lost a lot of volume that year and really only the end of the fourth quarter saw any sort of measurable transaction volume. 2021, absolutely on fire. I mean, from the beginning of the year through the end, things were very busy, a lot of buyer demand. Um, on the condo front, we didn't see the crazy, bro you know, 25% growth like we did in homes, but we're up about 12.5%, so just about half the homes. Uh, 650,000 is our new median, and sales volume. Now, this is a, a, a pretty telling measurement for the condo market, up 70%. So, 70% increase in sales volume over 2020. Why is that? So the condo market and the single family market in 2020, kind of when COVID hit, um, sort of split, right? Typically they kind of trend in line. Condo volume went through the roof, or not volume, sorry, condo inventory went through the roof when COVID hit. A lot of the investment condo short-term rentals in our market, um, you know, owners were uncertain. Um, there was no, rental income coming in, you know, there was no, basically no travelers visiting our island, no one to book those condos. So that inventory spiked. It took, you know, most of 2021, well, you know, definitely the first half I can say, to kind of work through that inventory. So we saw that spike in inventory. Some people jumped in, got some pretty good buys at that point. That was like, you know, third quarter of last year. Um, then, you know, once 2021, started that market took off all that inventory got bought up and that's why we see that dramatic increase in the volume of sales while the median didn't jump as dramatically because we were working through a lot of inventory kept pricing a little more stabilized so it didn't shoot up as much as homes did um, now i want to take a dive into wailea more specifically um, you know the wailea market which is wailea and mckenna um, basically all of, you know, southern tip of Kihei to the, you know, basically to, to McKenna. Um, single family homes there, median up 26%. Our new median in Wailea is just over three and a half million dollars. Um, dramatic increase that's driven obviously by, you know, tightened supply and plenty of demand. Sales volume up almost 200% year over year. Um, again, 2020, things, you know, when COVID hit, things dropped off, demand, you know, went to just about zero for a few months. Um, you know, as the year finished out, we started to see a pickup in that demand, but not, you know, not, not a huge amount. Uh, 2021, completely different story. Obviously we basically, you know, 200% increase in volume at about $250 million uh, total volume for my land. Now from the condo front, um, similar dynamic to, you know, what we saw in the island wide numbers. Median is only up three and a half percent year over year. Uh, that's going to put you at about a million and a half for condo medium pricing. Um, again, 
similar thing. A lot of those vacation rentals came to the market, not as much in Wailea as in the broader market. Um, you know, some of the lower price points kind of saw that inventory spike um, more dramatically. But again, that median pricing relatively flat year over year, um, all things considered for the condos. Volume up 62%. So, you know, we're not talking 200 like the single family, but 62% healthy increase in sales. Um, you know, obviously driven by increased demand, just over about 260 million in volume for the Wailea condos. Now, I wanna focus kinda on some of the, the hotter complexes in the market. This is diving a little deeper, um, neighborhoods, you know, and complexes. Um, obviously, we've seen, you know, prices jumping, inventory tighten. Um, complexes like Ho'ole, Wailea Beach Villas, McKenna Surf, have seen dramatic increases in pricing. Ho'ole right now, lowest price unit in the complex is $4 million. You know, that unit pre-COVID be about two and a quarter, two and a half maybe. Um, the good news is this increased pricing is correlated to increased revenue on the rental side. Um, you know, all of this, uh, increased demand for the island is not just on the buy side, but also from our travelers, our visitors. Hotel pricing, um, you know, is definitely up. You basically can't find a hotel room um, in South Maui for under a thousand dollars a night right now. Um, these revenues for complexes like Hotele, Wailea Beach Villas, McKenna Surf um, are all, you know, you're up at least 20, 25 percent on nightly rates. So, good news is the revenues are growing along with pricing. Um, which helps often that blow, you know, if you're looking to jump into the market at the, you know, at our, our, our current pricing. Um, what does that mean for this year and beyond? Um, for this year, we're expecting to see similar trends, right? Similar demand. Um, this tightened inventory is going to be an issue for the near term. Um, there are, I should say, there is some light at the end of the tunnel potentially. Um, we'll see how it has an effect, but everyone knows about the Fed um, talking about bumping rates this year. Um, the trying to counter uh, the inflation that we're seeing in the market. It's gone from being described as transitory due to COVID to now it's, um, you know, they, they think it's a more longer term problem. Um, with that, we're looking at our first rate hike likely in March. Um, We'll see how that affects our market. You know, definitely in a more typical market, right? A lot of the metro areas in the mainland or more, you know, typical markets, that is gonna definitely have an effect on demand. Um, you know, with, I think last year, over 40% of our sales were cash. Um, I don't know how much of an effect the rates are gonna have on our demand. Um, we'll just have to see how that plays out. Um, yes, a lot of people are choosing to finance because things, you know, money is cheap right now. But as, um, as those rates start to bump up, you know, upper threes, 4%, you know, potentially, I, I don't personally think it's going to go much over four this year, but um, we'll see, see what happens with mortgage rates. Um, you know, people are expecting that to curb this demand a little bit, see a little more stabilization in the market. Um, I don't anticipate we'll see the price growth that we saw last year. Um, you know, I think more in line with the 10, 12% appreciation um, for single family is, is what we should see. Um, but again, we gotta see how things plays out. These are, you know, these are just some predictions. Um, I think buyers right now, um, whether you're looking at, you know, trying to dive into the market or wait this out, I don't, necessarily think waiting this out is going to be fruitful um you know i i think this tight inventory scenario is going to continue for quite some time um and as prices grow buying power decreases and especially with rising rates um you know i don't think we're going to get a massive break or a price drop or anything like that i think things will stabilize um but you're going to be at a higher price point so um if you can find the right property now um, I would jump in. Most important thing right now is definitely work with a very active, um, proficient broker in the market. Um, you know, our team does a lot of work to try and 
find inventory for our buyers. Um, and we are doing that successfully right now. And that is um, crucial in today's market. Anything that's actively listed is getting incredible attention, multiple offers, very competitive, it's hard. So if you can find something outside of that, that's phenomenal. On the sell side, again, I think uh, taking advantage of current situation, um, if it is the right time for you, um, you know, definitely a good time to be cashing out of the market. As we do th see things stabilize a bit, um, we may see a bump in inventory that'll, um, you know, de decrease that leverage on the sell side just a touch. But again, I don't think any dramatic changes by the end of this year. Um, but obviously still, seller's market, great time to make a move. Uh, we're always here for you guys. If you have any questions, please, please feel free to give us a call, text, or email, and love to be a resource for you. Aloha.